or of the NBA Finals. The Boston Celtics have a battle ahead. Can they even the series at two games apiece? They know they can win and now must rise to the occasion with millions of fans looking on as they square off against the Suns. The NBA postseason coming up next. It's the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. The championship is almost within reach, and with the series standing at 2-1, we could be looking at a make-or-break game. With two All-Stars, Grant Hill and Chris Webber, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. BA, we've seen smaller market teams unhappy with how the buyout system has played out as of late. Agents using their leverage to get their clients to a more glamorous situation. Is it truly shifting the balance of power? That's subject to debate, guys, but these concerns aren't going away anytime soon. Well, we'll see what comes of it, Allie. Thank you. You take a look at the Suns. This is one of those turning point games. Will they go home tied or in a position to close it out on their home floor? Hey, road wins are never easy, especially at this point in the season. They'll need to be at their best to get it done. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Crowder and Aiton, the bigs. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. And it's Bridges in at the three, the small forward. And for the Celtics, the core of this team, Brown and Tatum. They're the forwards. Derek White out there with Marcus Smart. And it's Horford in at the center position, filling out the middle. Smart passes to Brown. Out to Horford. Pass to Brown. Five on the clock. Here's the three. The shot no good. The Suns go the other way with it. Outside Paul. And he's one for the lob. Tatum with a steal. Smart passes to White. To the inside. And here's Tatum. Smart outside. To the paint. Here's Horford. And Horford powers it home. Smart does a little bit of everything, including finding his wide open teammates. Paul against Smart. Outside Paul. Got a piece of it. Nice work on the glass, but his defense was even better. Really has an impact on that shot. He doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. Paul with it. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. For three, Bridges. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. Now their goal on D is to not give him any clean looks from long range. Smart. Another one falls for Boston. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. And the Suns miss again. For Boston, they've gone three of four to get things going. For three... He's now one for two with that bucket. <laughs> I just love the ball. Move. Phoenix has gone 0 for 3 from downtown to the middle. Fades and shoots. That went off the back iron and out. Oh, their movement is good, and they get the ball into the right hand. Now, usually, he drops those in between jumpers. And the Suns pushing it up now. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Here's Horford. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Horford's got his second bucket on the night. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Outside Booker. Crowder outside. They need this. Phoenix no good that time either. The Celtics have gone five of six. They're rolling. White against Booker. Here's White. Horford, a screen on Booker. Just five on the clock. White 
good. Derrick They've shown Wolf. so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control in this game. Now here's Paul. Here's Booker. And he knocks down the 10-footer. Nobody does it better. CP3. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. White against Booker. Now here's White. And Booker pulls it down. That works just like they drew it up. Until the part where he short arms the lay. In transition! Here's White. It's hauled in by the Suns. Booker attacking. Count the basket. Devin Booker's Booker. got the second bucket. The A creative finisher. Love seeing Booker attack the rim and convert like this. Boston's gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Outside Tatum. Brown, a screen on Crowder. Driving inside. Tatum can't hit. Credit to D for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover down low. Good court vision from Booker. He sees a wide open man and gets him the ball for an assist. For Boston, they've got six of ten attempts to fall. And here's Smart. Outside, Brown. Pass to Horford. Now Smart. He's guarded by Paul. Clock at six. Back to Horford. Fires for three. No good. Now the Suns take it the other way. Down low. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Williams is checked in for Boston. Tice comes in for White. Had the chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdowns for the Celtics. They're showing a lot of energy in the open court here in the first half. Pushing it every chance they get and racking up those points on the break. One thing I've also noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off turnovers. And it's Phoenix's ball. They've gone on an 8-0 run. And Aiton with the stuff. Great work to clear some space around the rim and set himself up for that putback. Yes, sir. That was a huge follow. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure it's coaches are going to let them know that. Time. Fans, your Celtics dancers. So far, here are some of the players who have been distributing the ball the best. Third is Chris Paul. I really admire how he seeks out his teammates. His selfless attitude and desire to get his guys going is what makes him such a valuable player. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Inside, here's Brown, and he makes it on the layup. Brown's got five points. I just love his approach coming into tonight. Focused and aggressive. The Suns on offense. They're on a 10-2 run here. It's Booker on the wing. The three-pointer off the mark. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. And Brown, the bucket on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got three assists tonight. The Suns trailing. Now Paul, over smart, and here's Crowder from the arc. The rebound by Jason Tatum. The Celtics have gone eight for 14 from the floor. No good on the three. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Tatum with a steal. Here's Brown, and it's Phoenix with the rebound. Outside Booker, here's Crowder. 
Phoenix no good that time either. Boston has gone 2 of 5 from beyond the arc in the first quarter. And it's smart missing. And the Suns shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. To the inside. He got a piece of it. We've seen Tice amongst the lead leaders in blocks. He's not a player you want to test too much. <laughs> this is not his quarter. He needs to give up some touches and recalibrate. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. Yeah, we got to be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice cushion here. Booker, good. Kevin wow, Booker. they're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Pass to Tatum. 4-3. And the Celtics have another three. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Paul for three. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. Ball. By no means a volume three-point three three shooter. Paul, he picks his spots. He's very accurate. Pass to Tatum. 30 seconds left to play in the first. Driving in. He can't get that one to fall. Nice D from Bridges. Here's Booker. Tipped. Unbelievable rejection from Smart there. Really using his insane vertical to send that one back. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. Now Tatum. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And just totally Defense relentless. Only increasing Chris the intensity Paul. level. Oh, yeah, and that's, that's what you love about him. He shows ball. no mercy, even with the comfortable lead. Crowder outside. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. It's the Celtics up by 12. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. Fans, your Celtics dancers. And the energy is palpable in this arena. Welcome back to the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. And a very convincing performance from the Celtics so far. It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Showing no mercy right now. The shooters look frustrated seeing so many of their shots get stifled. Well, the Suns shooting only 33%. Not exactly consistent offense. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum. They're the forwards. Marcus Smart out there with Neesmith. And it's Tice in at the five spot. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his third foul of the game. Picks up his third foul. We'll see now what coach decides to do from here. And here's Brown for three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Outside Paul. The three. Knocks it down from distance. Paul's got five points in the quarter. He's finally got into rhythm here in the second. His shooting percentage is taking a nice jump. To the wing, right side. There's Neesmith with the three. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got assist number five here tonight. Paul against Smart. And it's Paul off the drive. Blocked! And they're able to recover. And Aiden gets DeAndre it to go. Aiden. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Brown. Nice move. And Brown with the stuff. He can go inside. He can shoot it. He can dominate on the fast break. And tonight, Brown is doing it all. Up top, Paul. Defended by Smart. Paul, shot is off. Boston's gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. And a miss there on the triple. For Phoenix, they've gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Pass to Crowder. Back to Paul. Let's the three fly. Paul with another miss. Boston's gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. 
And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Well, that was clearly a foul. And he drops it first. Haynes checked in for Paul. At the line for your Celtics, Aaron. And he makes both free throws. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Smart against Payne. Drills it from deep. Cameron Payne. Payne's got his first bucket three. of the game, and he's on the board for three. He's the last guy you want to leave alone on the perimeter. Outside, Brown. Down low. And finished Daniel off by Tice. Oh, what incredible precision. Brown cutting the D to pieces with his pass. The Suns have gone four for seven in the second quarter. On the wing, Crowder. And the Suns Jane get another Crowder. three. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Pass to Tatum. Tice, a screen on Crowder. Tatum with it, and it's Payne picking him up. And here's Brown for three. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. That's on Mikael Bridges. And for Brown, it's about consistently improving. We've seen flashes from him, but now it's time for him to meet expectations. He sucks. Three shots. And he's good on the first of three. And the second free throw is good. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. He wasn't quite as assertive as he needed to be in the first quarter, but now he's taking a more head-on approach and getting himself to the line. Crowder, he's got it. Just two Jay of seven from the field, though. They didn't do themselves any favors with their shooting in the first quarter, but they're starting to pick it up now. There's Tatum with the three. Gets the three to fall. Tatum's got 11 points. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Payne, pass to Aiden. Over Tice. That's good yeah, from Aiden. Aiden. On the assist by Payne. Assist oh, the timing couldn't Cameron have been Payne. better on that assist. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Tice, a screen on Payne. Smart. Lays it up and banks it in. Smart has gotten his second bucket on the night. Oh, tricky handles there by Smart. Keeping the defenders off balance. Payne, pass to Booker. Shoots over Neesmith. Booker can't get it to go. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. No, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. He's not going to miss many of those. Phoenix has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. For three, Bridges. Nails it. And he's one for five with that one. Wow, he's a confident shooter from three-point range. I mean, even with the D hovering near him. Brown with a screen. Smart finds Tatum. And Booker pulls it down. Booker's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Payne. Fires the three. The rebound by Neesmith. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. There's Tatum with the three. That won't go either for Tatum. His field goal percentage has dipped this quarter. I mean, his movement has to be better. He has to find the open spots on the floor. And here's Crowder from the arc. Payne, the pass to Aiden. Tatum with a steal. 
Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Payne. And the Suns pushing it up now. Booker for three. Drains the triple. Booker. Booker's got nine. I really love seeing Booker score off the ball. He shows his understanding for spacing and when to put up a shot. Tice outside. Pass to Brown. Over Bridges. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's on Mikael Bridges. Now look, I love the impression to Brown. He's a tough cover for any defender. Line for your Celtics, Jalen Brown at the line for two. First free throw is good. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Some changes for Boston. Williams has checked in for Tice. Williams comes in for Tatum. And it's White in for Neesmith. And the Suns will go for a different look here. McGee, he's checked in for eight. Kaminsky comes in for Crowder. Craig is checked in for Bridges. And Peyton is subbed in for Booker. Now here's White. Pass to Smart. And he drives in. No luck on that one. So Phoenix will take it the other way. He'll breathe a big sigh of relief if they hang two to win this minutes. game. He's not done much to contribute to it. So when he forgets about him on the perimeter, they're playing with fire. Lucky they don't get burned here. Here's Williams. Outside, Williams. Outside, Brown. Here's Smart, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Uh, I like Smart using his size advantage on the interior. Nice work out there. At the line, Marcus Smart. At the line for two shots. And that one falls for Smart. A six foot four, 220 pounds. Marcus Smart might be the most physically imposing point guard in the league, especially with his fiery approach to the game. And so Smart nails them both. The Suns trailing. To the middle. Here's McGee. Cashes in the 12 footer. We've got 128 left in the first half of basketball. Outside White. Williams, a screen on Peyton. Here's White. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Frank Kaminsky picks one up here. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Derek White. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Well, the Suns shooting 56% for the second quarter. Here's McGee. No one on him. Makes an easy one. McGee's got four points in the quarter. Height and heart, Kevin. McGee can do damage around him. Pass to Williams. Tries a 10-footer, and it's Phoenix with the rebound. Yikes. How did he miss that? I mean, he makes nine out of ten of those. To the paint. Here's McGee, and it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. Well, that's where McGee makes his living, on the interior. It makes them a much more effective offense when he's able to contribute in the painted area. Good work there as it goes. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. White with the steal, and here we go. The Celtics on the run. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the First one falls for him. And the Suns making a change here. Sharich checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 29 seconds left in the first half. Out to the right wing. Let's go with a three. Williams grabs the board. Boston's gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. To the middle. Back to Smart. 
Outside, Brown. Williams, a screen on Craig. Back to Smart. The three ball. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's Boston closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here with Monty Williams and coach. Certainly some areas to correct moving forward. What have you seen so far? We had a few breakdowns on defense. We've got to recognize personnel. We've given up a few open shots to guys we've talked about. We'll be better as we go forward. We've got to get out and run, but our defense will help us run more. It all starts on D. Thanks, coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. They played smart, they took their time, and limited mistakes. When you value each possession, you eventually will get the shot you want. Taking a look at the situation for the Phoenix Suns. They're looking to take a 3-1 lead tonight. Shaq, how commanding a lead would that be? Well, don't ask me about commanding Ernie. I'm a respectful guy. Kenny has seniority. Well, now you're making me feel old, but yeah, 3-1. They'll be almost there. With two quarters to go, a lot could change, but no guarantees right now. You guys are both making me feel old. In fact, I am old. But let's go back to the second half and see how many guys can throw it in the peach basket. And we welcome you back to game four, folks. Thanks for joining us. Jalen Brown having a dominant impact in this game. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. Yeah, the defense didn't do a very good job of staying connected to him. We'll, we'll see if they make an adjustment. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. And so in the game for the Suns. Dario Saric is out there with JaVale McGee. Then there's Cam Payne. Then it's Torrey Craig. And it's Peyton in at the two spot. At this point in his career, McGee knows who he is. The hustle, an energy guy who uses his athleticism to his advantage. On the second one. The Celtics with the lead. Smart with the ball. Give him eight points now. And here's Brown for three. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. Well, how about the quickness of that release? Brown just training that catch and shoot jumper. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. Marcus. That's his first foul. That's his first. Personal foul. Second team foul. McGee passes to Craig. Brown with the steal. And the whistle blows. Corey, it's going to be on Tory Craig. That's, That's foul number two foul. for him. It just wasn't foul. able to set up in time. Paul, he's checked in for the Suns. Chris Paul. Smart against Paul. Smart passes to Tatum. There's the triple. And again, Boston with the triple. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And it's Paul off the drive. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. And real quick, let's check out the field goal percentage leaders in the postseason. Well, you look at Peyton. He is consistent. Fourth highest shooting percentage in the NBA. And of course, Dario Saric. They've been both taking great shots. That's the efficiency you want in the postseason. The rebound, Celtics. Tatum's got six rebounds in the game, and he gets it to go. Uh, and that's just sheer will. I mean, even when you body Saric, I mean, he stays after it and tries to score. Pass to Tatum. Horford, a screen on McGee. There's Tatum with the three. That's a six make and 11 tries. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. 
McGee with it. Back to Paul. White with the steal. And here comes the break. Shot from 16. And it's Boston scoring again. His teammates keep getting him the ball in his favorite spot. He's done a lot for his shooters. Here's Paul. Pass to Sharich. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got three assists in the game. Paul. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Brown with it. Jacks up a three. And the Celtics another three. They are shooting the lights out and doing a good job of maintaining this lead. For Phoenix, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. To the right side. McGee for three. Rebounded by the Celtics. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Tatum, Big shot is good. Tatum. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. Well, the results are clear as day. Great approach coming into the third quarter. We'll see if they can keep it up. It's time for T-shirts. Fans, your Celtics dancer. Phoenix making some changes. Aiden, he's checked in for McGee. Bridges comes in for Craig. And it's Booker in for Payne. Paul passes to Aiden, and here's Sharich for three. Connects from downtown. Sharich has gotten his third basket of the night. Really improving this part of his game. When Sharich is dialed in from deep, it helps so much. Outside Tatum. White on the wing. Shoots over Booker. Misses off the left iron. Nice work defensively. Meeting him up top and forcing the miss. Launches it, and the three-pointer goes. Booker. Booker's got 12 points in the game. And this is what they depend on Booker to do. Such a versatile, confident score. Oh, a deep three from Tatum. And again, Boston with the triple. Well, with the roll he's on this quarter, they're going to keep going to him. I mean, get that lead even bigger. Phoenix has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Up top, Paul. Defended by Smart. And Paul gets it to go. Sometimes you've got to do it yourself. Chris Paul, he's calling his own number tonight. Paul against Smart. Ooh, Aiden with the block. Booker goes in. Oh, a dunk and a foul. A powerhouse move. He's got a chance for one more at the line. That one on White. The line for the Suns. Devin Booker, one shot. That free throw good from Booker. This guy may be the steal in the 2015 draft. Devin Booker was the 13th pick overall, and Books developed into an all-star guard, someone who can be the face of a franchise. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And here's Sharich for three. Hauled in by Brown. Brown's got four rebounds in the game. Stolen by Bridges. Left side, Paul. And here's Sharich for three. Smart grabs the miss. The Celtics have gone seven of ten here in the second half. White can't hit. Well, you can't hit that one. Your teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time. Paul. Oh. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for the Suns. They played a heads-up brand of basketball this entire game. And they've got the steals to prove it. Another thing, they haven't missed a beat on the fast break in either half tonight. Now here's Booker. He's got 15. It's good on the putback. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounding. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Fans, the longest section gets free t-shirts. Let's see who gets the longest and who wants the t-shirt. All right, look who's coming on out to the court. Come on and get loud. Here are the Celtic Sensors.
change your Celtics. Some changes for Boston. Williams has checked in for Horford. Williams comes in for Brown. And it's Neesmith in for Smart. Booker against White. And there's the drive. Got a hand on it. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots on it. Elbow shot on the way. Bridges misses. Until he starts knocking down some shots, I don't think the deficit's going to get any smaller. And Neesmith gets it to go. Neesmith. Just an intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to a guy with a great shot. The Suns have gotten 8 of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Here's Paul. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. Booker for three. Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. Three points. The Celtics with the lead. Outside Tatum. Pass to Neesmith. Williams a screen on Paul. Six to shoot. There's Neesmith with a three. The Suns clear it. Bridges has got six rebounds here tonight. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. It's Booker on the wing. He's got 18. Offensive rebound. Pass to Sharich. It's Booker on the wing. This one for three. And there's Sharich on the assist by Booker. And now it's just a two-point Boston lead. He's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. Now Tatum. A minute 22 left in the third quarter. Takes a 13-footer. And Booker pulls it down. Booker's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Aiden for the lead. That shot missing. And it's Boston the other way. Outside Tatum. Back to White. Here's Neesmith from the arc. Doesn't go for him. Left side Booker. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got his fourth assist with that last one. Oh, he's perfect from the field this quarter. He's given them the fits out there. Now here's White. Outside Tatum. Here's Neesmith. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Here's a three from Paul. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Out of bounds. Suns ball. As Phoenix keeps possession. Crowder. He's checked in for charge. And here are the Suns now. Three on three. Trying to get back on track. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Last touch by Bridges. Remains Boston ball. Outside Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. Williams, a screen on Bridges. Tatum from long range. He's been tremendous at corralling misses all night long. He's played with a doggedness and determination. That's how you end up with double-digit boards. It's been all about Jalen Brown for the Celtics, helping them space the floor. Two triples in that quarter. Three for the game. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Control the pace. Get it to the right guy at the right time. These requirements top the list if you're a good point guard. Come on, fans. 
Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure packed basketball. At the two and the three, Brown and Tatum. Al Horford out there with Daniel Tice. And it's White in at the one. That's the Boston Five. Now here's Crowder. Tatum with a steal. And here's Brown for three. Called in by Paul. Well, the Sun's shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Here's Booker. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Oh, you can't be careless around Horford. Throw up a weak shot around him, he'll send it back. The ball's knocked loose. White. Good. And the Celtics lead by two. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. All those block shots, that's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing. Not giving them an inch of space out there. Also, you can oh. see how they've gotten Four, after three. it on D. The steal numbers are something they have to be proud of. A few possessions into the fourth, just over a minute play. White, the pass to Brown. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Brown's got 27 points. He hit three triples in the first half. Three more since. <laughs> That's nothing to shrug at. Pass to Paul. On the wing, Crowder. Six on the shot clock. For three, Booker. Rebounded by the Celtics. White's got six rebounds now in the game. Brown passes to Tatum. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got three assists now in this one. For Phoenix, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. And here's Crowder from the arc. Nails it from three. Oh, and with his feet set, Crowder can definitely hurt you from long range. Pass to White. Free throw line jumper. The Suns clear it. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. Crowder, that's good. Back-to-back -back threes. Three. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Outside White. With the 10-footer. Crowder grabs the miss. Crowder's got eight rebounds in the game. Booker against Brown. Crowder, the pass to Booker. Another three for Devin Phoenix. Booker. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Pass to Brown. Can they get it? Can't get it to go. Nine for 14 now. Paul from deep three-point land. Kept alive. Aiton. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. That gives him a double-double in this one. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. This is why his teammates respect him. The hustle, the energy. You gotta love him. Hey, fans, who wants a free T-shirt? Make some noise! Fans, your Celtics dancers! Smart checked in for Boston. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey guys, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for his guys during the break. He focused on perimeter play at both ends. On D, he wants to prevent open looks from deep. And at their own end, he thinks they can create better shots with better ball movement. We'll see if he gets his wish. Back to you. All right, appreciate it, Allie. And Boston has possession. Coming off a of Suns make, here's Smart. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. I think a little bump is going to stop Marcus Smart. No way. The Suns leading. Outside Booker from downtown. And 
and he gets it to go again. He's connected on 10 of 15 now. Their long range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. Smart passes to Tatum, launches a three. Hauled in by Paul. Paul's got four rebounds now. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Pass to Aiden. Shoots over Horford. Here's Crowder. Sinks that one. Now Man, shooting five of ten and looking sharp. Crowder's a guy that does so many of the little things for them. Just like they're cleaning up the mess on the offensive glass. Smart passes to Horford. Ooh, Aiden with the block. Ball drives in. Brown with the block. They recover it. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. We love how Tatum commits to his shots. The foul won't stop him. First team foul. At the line, Jason Tatum. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. Well, from the moment he stepped into the league, I mean, Jason Tatum, to me, has been a difference maker. Every team in the league is looking for guys like him. Long, athletic winners. White, he's checked in for Boston. And so Tatum nails both of them. The Suns have gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. Now here's Paul. Over smart. Orford pulls it in. Boston's gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. The drive by Smart. And his fifth make of the game in 12 attempts. Uh, I like Smart being aggressive right time. Getting into the lane. Using his power and speed to his advantage. And here's Paul. Now Crowder. Puts up a three. And there's Paul. That one's good. Paul. On the assist from Crowder. Crowder's got three assists tonight. Bridges against Tatum. Phoenix. And Mikael Bridges picks up the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Tice. Second team foul. Coming on to the floor for the Celtics. Smart outside. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Paul's got rebound number five here tonight. With the floater. And it's in there. Paul's got 24. There's the laser focus of CP3. Takes contact. Still delivers the move. For the Celtics, this one not looking good. Here's Tatum. Smart passes to Brown. He's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. And that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Here's Paul after the basket by Boston. Off the mark there with a three. Smart finds White. Ooh, Aiden with the block. Out of bounds. Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. One twenty-five left in the fourth. And it's Tatum missing. Phoenix is shooting around 53% in the fourth. Here's Paul. Paul with another miss. The Celtics shooting the ball at 43% from the field. And we're going to have a jump ball. Tipped away. And the Celtics in possession here. Tatum passes to Smart. Paul with the double. Takes the three. That one doesn't drop. And Phoenix the other way now. And this has been quite a championship series. A pivotal win in this game four for the Suns. You know, we talk about this often. 
second chance points can be the difference between winning and losing. Yeah, they hit the offensive glass with a purpose and made the most of those extra touches. And while there were some guys out there that played well, what really stood out was the production for Chris Paul. Uh, he was the alpha dog out there tonight. Totally in charge of this game, no matter what the situation was. He was the one that dictated the action. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Showing remarkable poise and focus throughout the game, a sustained effort across the board. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. But yeah, the game got away from them, but hopefully they've learned some things, and, and hopefully they'll be able to make some adjustments next time. Al Horford, that's his third personal foul. First team foul. And it's Phoenix's ball. Substitution. Leading by five. And so they choose Robert to intentionally Williams. foul. Brent Williams. Aaron Neesmith. First free throw is good. And that increases Derek the Williams. lead to six. That's what I love about Paul is that he is focused on making his teammates better. Every team would love to have it. the line for the Suns. So we get them both. And it's a seven-point game. Those free throws helping them to make the lead even safer. Make some noise! Fans, your Celtics dancer! Substitutions for the Celtics. Nineteen seconds left in the final quarter. And it's Tatum missing. Bridges against Smart from the high post. And right through it goes! And the Suns lead by nine. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great feeling. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture That's looks the from outside the, the arc. You see more teams doing this nowadays. We all are you. firmly you entrenched in the era of the three ball. So it's the Suns this winning this Please one easily. And safely. with this win, they'll jump out to a 3-1 lead in the series. A commanding start. And they can't afford to take their foot off the gas pedal. The job isn't done yet, but it's...